So today's video is not going to be a review, but just a big heads up for anyone that is looking to buy a new gaming monitor or a TV from now on. So basically what happened is that the organization that licenses the HDMI standard and that decides how products can use the HDMI label has made a very strange and a very wrong decision, in my opinion, uh, that completely changed the meaning of the term HDMI 2.1 and with that, how we look at HDMI 2.1 monitors in general. So let's talk about this. Uh, let's see what you need to look out for when buying a new monitor and just hopefully spread the word so everyone is aware that seeing HDMI 2.1 on a product doesn't really mean anything anymore. So let's begin. This video is brought to you by Seasonic and their Prime Series power supplies. These top quality power supplies are very efficient, they're whisper quiet, extremely reliable and my go-to choice for most of my test rigs and builds around here. And to make the deal even sweeter, Seasonic wraps it all up in a cozy 12 year long warranty. Check them out using the links in the description below. First of all, a huge shout out to Goki201 on Twitter. He constantly manages to find new and interesting information about monitors, uh, very often before they even launch, and then shares really relevant monitor news on Twitter. And last week, he posted a problem with the Xiaomi Mi gaming monitor. So this monitor very clearly claimed to be HDMI 2.1, but if you scroll down the product page, it didn't actually offer any of the features that you would expect to see with that HDMI 2.1 spec. And it is a long list of features, so it's not just higher bandwidth and a 4K 144 hertz support. There is variable refresh rate and display stream compression and just many, many more, as you can see in this list. But the Mi monitor seemed to support none of these while still being marketed as HDMI 2.1, and that raised a very important question. What does a monitor need to have to actually claim its HDMI 2.1? And TFT Central decided to investigate this a bit further. Now, I'm pretty sure that everybody knows TFT Central, but if somehow you don't, uh, they have been making fantastic in-depth monitor content for years now, and you should definitely check them out. Uh, they also did all the work here and wrote a fantastic article about this, so I do hope that all of you will take some time to read it as well, and I will leave the link in the description below. Now, all the credits go to them, I just wanted to make a video to just bring some more attention to this topic. Anyway. The HDMI License Administrator, or HDMI LA in short, had a very interesting answer to this confusion. So it was already known that not every feature was required, but it actually goes a lot further than that. They simply stated that the term HDMI 2.0 doesn't exist anymore and all HDMI products should just use HDMI 2.1 in their specification and both the capabilities and the features that we associate with HDMI 2.1 are all entirely optional. Now, to avoid confusion with customers, each monitor manufacturer should just specify somewhere which features are supported and which aren't, because obviously that will be clearly less confusing. So in short, this pretty much means that any monitor that is currently listed as HDMI 2.0 can now be sold as HDMI 2.1, even if it offers absolutely none of the specs and features that you and I associate with HDMI 2.1. And I was personally really surprised to read this, and don't get me wrong, I am completely in favor of requiring companies to just state exactly which features their products include or don't include, but giving products with wildly different specifications the exact same label just causes confusion for regular consumers that already kind of have in mind what old HDMI 2.1 implied. Uh, not to mention that now they have to manually dig through complicated and very boring spec pages and translate terms like FRL to see if their new monitor can actually do 4K 120 or 144 without compression, or is it TMDS that just won't do it right? So I would say they just made a huge and unnecessary mess in my opinion. And keep in mind, so far I've been talking about monitors that use HDMI inputs. I cannot even imagine how this would affect other products that use HDMI outputs like laptops, for example. So I'm going to take the same position here as TFT Central and I hope that more people will agree. 
There is nothing wrong with calling a product HDMI 2.0 if those are the specs that are being offered. And if the whole market clearly has certain expectations of your newer 2.1 standard, why not add value to it by making sure that anyone who uses it will work hard to meet those expectations. Uh, this way, HDMI 2.1 would genuinely mean something instead of looking like a very weak cash grab marketing term, which is what I feel this decision has turned it into. Now, I do know that some of the features might not be relevant to PCs as they are to PC monitors and vice versa. So I would understand if they choose to make some features optional, especially if those would just raise the price, but they should still require HDMI 2.1 products to offer a certain level of performance, um, at least when it comes to bandwidth, for example. So at the very least, people would get a baseline experience that would match the most basic of your expectations, right? That being said, it is important to know that this doesn't mean that if a monitor doesn't offer any of the features is necessarily bad. So that Mi monitor, for example, is a 1080p 240 hertz display. And even though it's technically HDMI 2.0, it doesn't mean it is by default worse than a competing monitor that offers HDMI 2.1 spec. Similarly, this Gigabyte M32U doesn't offer the full 48 gigabits of bandwidth uh, while being branded HDMI 2.1, but its combination of features still makes it one of the better 4K monitors that you can buy right now. It would just make more sense to actually add a few more substandards instead of putting every single product in one big bag. So I really hope that they will rethink this. Uh, it will be beneficial to consumers as well as manufacturers who don't want to. Um, intentionally or otherwise, misinform their buyers. And I also hope that manufacturers will properly make sure it is clear what they offer when they state it's HDMI 2.1. So what bandwidth is supported, what resolution and refresh rate, what features are included and which ones are not. And then all that in a clear way so no one will be misled. And from now on, those are the details that you should be looking for when buying a monitor that states it's HDMI 2.1. And as a reviewer, I will be keeping my eye on this as well in all my future monitor reviews. So that was my opinion on this whole issue, but I would love to hear what you guys think about it. So please do leave a comment down below and make sure you click that subscribe button to never miss any of my future rants. Bye all and see you in the next one.